In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this text portrait using only and only text. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drone here, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. Let's get the original photo. So this is the original, and this is what we will create. Now, if I zoom in, as you can see, it is just a bunch of text layers layered over each other, nothing else. So, to create this effect, let's go to File Menu and open the base image. So, select the image that you want to turn into portrait, then go and open it. The first thing we need to do is remove the background and make it white. And even if you have white background, you will still have to remove it. So, just go and make the selection. So, I'm gonna use Pen tool, you can use any tool, just go and remove the background. Once your work path is ready, go and press Ctrl Enter to turn it into a selection and after that go and click on this layer mask to apply the mask and now the background is gone. Now as you can see I intentionally didn't select half of the hair because now we're gonna use refine mask for that. So for that right click and select refine mask and just paint where the hair is. So as you can see now the hair look much better then go and hit ok. After then we need to add a white background so for that go and create a new blank layer and put it under your model then go and select your paint bucket tool right click paint bucket and in the color select a white color and fill it. After that we need to make copy of the model layer so activate it then press ctrl J double click on this name and rename it to blur. After that make sure you have model layer active and not the layer mask. Then go to your filter menu, blur and select Gaussian blur and apply a little bit of blur so I think 2 point uh, let's say 2 pixel seems fine then go and hit ok. Then go and create new adjustment layer and select black and white so you don't have any color in the image and after that go and create new adjustment layer and this time select levels and then go and add more contrast in the image. So I'm gonna go and slide this slider this way and slide it this way. So this is the perfect image for displacement map because we don't have any colors, it's a little bit blurry and we have really nice contrast. So after that go and close it. Now we have to save this displacement map as a PSD file. But when you do this be careful. Go to file and first select save as. And then in the folder rename it let's say displacement map for tutorial. Once this is done hit the save button. Hit ok. So displacement map is saved. After that go and start deleting these things, we don't need them anymore. So delete the levels, delete black and white and delete the blur. And then go to your file menu and don't press save or you will override the displacement map. We don't want that. Go and click on save as. And this time you will name it whatever your actual tutorial file is. So let's name it. That's perfect. Then go and save it. And hit ok. So now we have two files, one for your displacement map and second where you will actually work on the effect. So this is good. Now first we need to make the background black. So hide the model, we don't need him for now. So background is active, then select your paint bucket tool, get the black color and fill it. And now we will add the text which is like 90% of the work for this effect. So select your type tool from here. Now normally when we try to type, what we do is we do a click and then we type. But if you do a click then hold your click and then go and drag so you will make a box something like this using your type tool. So we have a box now whatever we will type will stay inside this box. Now you can type anything you can copy paste anything whatever you like but for now I'm gonna go and paste random text. So you can go to your type menu and go and select this option paste lorem ipsum. So it will fill up your box with random text. You cannot see it for now because the color of the text is black. But I can double click here, go to my text color here and make it white, then hit OK. So now as you can see we have really nice white text and it will stay inside the box. And now we're gonna go and edit the text in a way so it looks more interesting. So first thing I'm gonna double click here, then go and click on this little box so it will open all the character options. Then first of all I'm gonna go and increase the slider so I have more spacing, little bit more not too much. Just a little bit more spacing in between the letters so i think 10.7 is fine and after that here in the style i'm gonna go and make all of them simple 
So we have all the basic text is ready but now I'm gonna go and select some of the individual words and make them bigger and different from the rest of the text. So first of all I'm gonna go and select the photoshops here. Then in the style I'm gonna go and make it uh, italic so it's a little bit uh, different and then I'm gonna go and make it uh, bigger so it's more noticeable. And then let's go and select some another random word. So now as you can see we have one paragraph ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this T here so I have everything selected. Then I will press Ctrl C to copy this font. We are done. Then make sure you have selected your type tool and somewhere around here go and draw another box but this time you will draw it a little bit more vertical like this. Then just go and simply press Ctrl V so you can paste the same font here and then go and adjust the size of your box according to your need. After then I will uh, activate my original layer here then press Ctrl J. So now I have a copy of it then select my move tool and move it a little bit here. Then I will press Ctrl T and rotate it from the angle but when you do it hold your shift key so you can rotate it like in exact angle. So I'm gonna go and put this one here like this. Confirm it and I'm gonna go and select uh, this one as you can see make copy of it Ctrl J press Ctrl T hold my shift key and rotate it something like this and put it somewhere around here and this way you have to fill up the area so this is looking good but we have one big problem and that is we have a lot of black space in between the fonts and this is completely normal so we're gonna go and fix that so as you can see we already have a lot of layers so what I will do, I will click on the first layer, hold my shift key and click on the top one. So all of them are selected and then press Ctrl G. So now we have everything in a single group. Now think of this group as a single layer. So now we're gonna go and press Ctrl T, then hold my shift key and make it smaller, something like this. Now we need to add a little bit of depth in between the fonts so for that go and open up your group and select any of the font uh, so let's go and select this one then right click and select blending options and here you will go and apply drop shadow and in the drop shadow go and make sure opacity is 100% and blending mode is multiply and then go and uh, add a little bit more distance not too much uh, let me zoom in so you can see what is going on. So let's go and add a little bit more distance, something like this and spread it a little, okay. Then go and hit okay. After then right click on your layer and select copy layer style. Then go and activate this layer, then right click and select paste layer style and do it for the all layers. So now as you can see we have a little bit of shadow in between all of the layers. Then go and turn off your group. Now what we're gonna do is make copy of this group and fill up the area again. So go and press Ctrl J so you have a copy of the group. Then go and put a font somewhere around here. Press Ctrl T, right click and select flip horizontal. Go and do whatever you can do and fill up the space. So let's go and put this one here like this. I'm gonna go and make another copy, Ctrl J. And then go and put this one directly here like this. Now what you have to do is go and hide the eye of your layers 1 here, the black layer. So now you have text on a transparent background as you can see. Then go and create a new blank layer and this will go on top of all of your text and make sure that everything else is hidden. There should be only text on the screen, okay? After that make sure this layer is active then go and press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. So now it created snapshot of all of the text in one single layer. Let me show you. If I go and hide all of these groups, I still have all the text on one single layer. Now go and turn on your background back. After that go and select your model layer and make it visible and then in the blend mode go and change it to multiply. And the first thing we will do is add some really big readable text because at the moment it is all just random gibberish filling up the space. So for that select your type tool and make sure uh, it is under your model so select the type tool and then type anything that you 
want people to read so i'm gonna go and type photoshop then go and confirm it after that press ctrl t hold your shift key and make it pretty big like this and then i'm gonna go and rotate it and as you can see this layer is under our model so you can see it live that how it will look so i'm gonna go and make it a bit smaller looking pretty good then go and confirm it now to make sure it is visible properly i'm gonna right click and select blending options and here first of all i'm gonna go and apply a stroke so select your stroke and in the stroke go and make it six pixel and then go and apply a drop shadow so a little bit of shadow will make it better so i think that is good enough then go and hit ok now i'm gonna go and make copy of this thing press ctrl j uh, select my move tool and move it somewhere around here then i will press ctrl t hold my shift key and rotate it something like this and then put it here on the neck confirm it then double click on this t here and type some other words so let's go and type something cliche passion okay then go and confirm it and then i'm gonna go and move it somewhere around here then i'm gonna make another copy of it so press ctrl j and i'm gonna go and put this one here on the face double click on the t and rename it to love then go and confirm it this way you can add as many words you like but i think three is enough for now after that hold your control key and select all these four layers three of all the text you added and the base text layer then go and press ctrl e so now again all of them are in one single layer and we also have visible text and now we will apply the displacement map that we created in the beginning so before you do that uh, select this layer right click and select convert to smart object after then go to your filter distort and select displace i'm using tile and repeat edge pixel and the size is 10 by 10 then go and hit ok and as you can see here is the file that we created in the beginning this map for the tutorial then go and open it so now as you can see if i turn it on and off because of displacement map the text took shape of the model and now it fits in properly and looks a bit more realistic and now we're gonna go and remove this white text from the outside so this is super easy we already have cut out of the model as you can see in the layer mask so activate the layer mask hold your alt key and drag this layer mask on top of your font so now we only have the model created completely from the text and you can also do some color correction so go to your adjustment layer and you can also make it black and white if you want that look or you can go and delete black and white and go to your adjustment layer and select curves and make it a little bit brighter if you want that type of look so i think the original one looks completely fine and that's it this is the final output so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did Hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me plus you can click on that subscribe button so every time i upload a new video you will get the updates so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop